You know what time it is? It's chainsaw time, baby. Whoa! All right, welcome back, everybody. My name is Andrew, and it is a glorious day here in Florida. It feels amazing. High 40s right now, supposed to get in low 50s. So perfect chainsaw and working weather. Today, we are gonna get back at these huge firewood rounds that I have here. Some of them are 34 inches across, weigh several hundred pounds, far heavier than I feel like dealing with and even trying to roll over to a log splitter. So today, we're gonna continue to break in the steel MS-462. We're gonna do what I call noodling. And no, it ain't catfish noodling. We're gonna make some noodles, bust these things right in half, and uh, like I said, really give this all a good workout. So that's on the agenda. Uh, bust some of these up into manageable pieces, and then we'll clear an area out. Probably do a little bit of splitting too on this episode. So stay tuned.
All right, a popular question that I have been asked here lately, and a very good question, whenever I built this contraption to kind of uh, shorten up my stroke on my cylinder here, a lot of people ask, hey, leaving your cylinder shaft exposed is uh, gonna expose it to the elements, it's gonna rust, and it's eventually gonna wear your seals out in your cylinder. Very good point, and something that I forgot to mention in the last video. When I built this thing to be removable, that was one of the uh, ideas I had in mind. Now, anytime there's bad weather or I'm putting the splitter up for long-term storage, I just retract the shaft all the way back in the cylinder and it's completely protected against the elements. So I want to throw that out there while it was on my mind because several people have asked about that. But yes, that was part of this design right here to be able to put this back completely to normal and to store it properly.
Boy, what an afternoon this has turned out to be. It's a lot later than it should be doing this, but I just got done spending the last 30 minutes on the phone with my credit card company, because apparently someone has stolen my credit card number and has already racked up $1,250 worth of gas station charges. Gas station. Oh, what is this world coming to? Well, let me get off my doom and gloom high horse. And uh, we're going to do what we've been doing. This is a mixture of what I'm calling water oak. It could be laurel oak. They look very similar down here. And some red oak. This is a very dense, wet piece. So I'm going to do what I've been doing on the other videos. We'll check the moisture on this. And a lot of people said, hey, when you come back and check periodically, split a piece, check the inside for a true moisture content. And I may add that to what we're doing too. Probably in about another week, we'll check the two racks that's behind you that I've already done got some numbers on. And I'll probably make it a once a month thing to check the same piece, try to check it same spot, and maybe we'll go ahead and split a piece while we're checking and check internal. So kind of compare an outside number to an inside number. What I would be very curious to know is down the road, if I can figure out a pattern when an outside number tells me something, I kind of have a good idea of what the inside is. And I may always have to crack and split a piece to know that, but it'd be nice to know if the outside was 16% you know, historically, the inside's 20 or 21, something like that. But you don't know until you start collecting all these numbers. So, I think this is the inside of this piece, and it is, it is very damp. <laughs> Y'all check this out. This is the wettest wood I have gotten yet. 47.5, as high as I can get. 47.5% moisture, wow. That's quite high. All right, so now I have marked this piece with a paint X. We'll always check it for our external moisture content. And then we'll pick a piece random every so often to split it, kind of check the inside and compare an external piece to an internal piece. Again, this is nothing scientific about it, just for my knowledge. And a lot of y'all have expressed interest in this too. So I'm gonna make me a little metal card here with that information on it, get today's date. All right, now we have our information. Today's date, 47.5% moisture, and I just put abbreviated water and red oak since it's a mixture of both. All right, so now we got our card here ready to go. Like I said, we'll per periodically come out here and probably once we get a bunch of totes, we may make an episode out of just cracking them, getting some numbers, checking everything. Since some of y'all like that information like myself. So thank y'all so much for watching. It has been an extremely long day. One thing you're gonna notice, I made another episode while I was out here today with the 450 or 462, excuse me. That's why you see a lot of that, every bit of that wood is actually cut up now, but y'all only see me cut up a little bit. Let's just say those goodies I was telling you about, we've put them on the chainsaw and I made its own episode for it, deservingly so. So there is a lot more chainsaw coming, uh, cutting coming. And uh, I think you're, you're going to like some of the upgrades I did to the saw. I think it's just about the perfect saw for me now. Um, one of them made a pretty drastic difference. So that video will be out soon. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, we're going to be doing some giveaways coming up. All you got to do is like, share, subscribe, and uh, most importantly, drop a comment down in the comment section. I'm going to pick a random video here coming up before long. Could be this video or any one of them. I'm going to pick a random comment on it, and that person is going to win a giveaway that we're doing. Appreciate the support. Catch you on the next video.